What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to discuss a topic that has been the subject of pretty heated debate ever since Knights of the Old Republic came out, and that is Power Attack versus Flurry. Now there are a lot of thoughts on the internet about which one is better than the other. So today we're going to look at the calculation behind the expected value for damage, and we're going to look at the different aspects of both attacks and see if one truly is better than the other. Now before we get started, I want to mention that a lot of people have pretty strong held beliefs on this subject. Some people feel very strongly that one is better than the other. Some of these are based on some facts, and some of them are not so much based on facts and more on misconceptions about the game and different game mechanics. So please, if you do have preconceptions about one being better than the other, I ask that you please set this aside for the remainder of this video so that you can have an informed opinion rather than your own preconceived notion of what is right and what is wrong. Now to start off, let's talk about some of the arguments you'll see on the internet if you search this topic and if they're really factual or not. The first one you'll probably hear in favor of power attack is that the plus 10 bonus you get from master power attack is subject to the critical multiplier. So if you land a critical hit while using power attack, you'll get an extra 20 damage instead of just 10. Now that is true, but is that enough to make it better than Flurry? We'll see. Other arguments for Power Attack or Flurry sometimes revolve around different pieces of the game being bugged or penalties not being applied. Those are all false, and you can check that by looking at the combat log in the game. So let's get out those out of the way right now. We are not going to consider any of those arguments. The last thing that people talk about when they make these arguments is they say that you should not worry about chance to hit when you're taking damage into effect, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Now it is true that if you're at the end of the game and you have min-maxed your character for combat, 90% of the time you're probably going to make contact with your attacks. However, your chance to miss still does play into the role, so we can't just ignore those. They do affect the calculation, and they do affect if one is better than the other. The main argument for Flurry is usually just that you get an extra attack, so therefore it's better. Is that true? Let's find out. Now first, if you haven't taken a statistics course, we're going to use the idea of expected value and the law of large numbers. Basically, the law of large numbers just says if you do an event n number of times and let n tend toward infinity, then you should see results approaching the expected value. Now, the expected value, at least for our case, is just the weighted average. If you have an event, it is the probability that an event will occur times the result if you have that event occur. So, for example, if you roll a fair d6, your expected value calculation would be 1 sixth times 1 plus 1 sixth times 2 plus dot 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 plus 1 sixth times 6. All right, so this is our formula for expected value, and it might look a little complicated, but it's not. So let's break it down really quick. The first line of our formula is really just our chance to miss. So we really don't need to know too much about that. That's just going to be your opponent's defense minus your attack modifiers, your strength modifier, and your base chance to hit for your class minus one. Because if you equal or are greater than the defense, you will hit it. So we have to subtract one. Now the second line is going to be the probability that we will land a hit, but it will not score a critical threat. Now recall, whenever you attack, you have three options of what can happen. You can miss, you can score a hit that is not a critical threat, or you can score a critical threat. So in this case, for line two, it is going to be the probability that we will score a hit that is not a critical threat and deal normal damage. The damage that you are going to deal is going to be your average damage for your weapon, and your sneak damage, your strength modifier, any bonus damage, any bonus range damage, your power attack damage if necessary, and we're going to call all of that theta just for end ease of notation, because otherwise this formula would be really long later on in the video. Now the third line, we have to break up into two cases. The first is if we score a critical threat, but we do not get a critical hit. And the second, which is going to be the final row, is if we score a critical threat and manage to land a critical hit. Now the chance if you score a critical threat, but don't make a critical hit, is going to be you hit into that threat range. So that is just going to be the chance that you make a critical threat, but fail your attack roll, and that's going to be multiplied by theta, or just our chance for normal damage. The final line, like I said, is the probability that you will score a critical threat times the chance that you will land your critical hit times your damage output. Now notice that whenever we look at the damage output, only some of these values are multiplied by two. That's because not all damage is subject to your critical hit multiplier. Things like sneak attack, massive criticals, and any flat bonus damage that is added on is not going to be subject to that multiplier, so you will see those are not multiplied by 2. Now that we have our expected value formula for damage, let's talk about if one of Flurry or Power Attack is really better than the other. Unfortunately, there's not just a yes or no answer, and we're going to have to look at cases. The first case is to consider if we're using Master Speed or not. Recall that Master Speed is going to give you two extra rolls from your main hand. 
Now, if you are not using Master Speed, there are still actually more cases. If you're in the early game, or if your character is weaker and not as adept at combat, say they have a low strength modifier, or they just don't have very many upgrades for their weapon, you will find that at the extra 10 damage from power attack, and potentially 20 if you land a critical hit, is going to get you more than that extra attack with flurry, so power attack is actually better when you're weaker. However, if your character is more adept at fighting, or you have an upgraded weapon, you will see that flurry is actually better than power attack, so unfortunately it's not straightforward, but it could be different depending on how your character is set up. Now something else to consider about power attack and flurry when you're not using master speed, is if you're going up against an enemy with a high defense or low defense. If you're going up against some just goons that have low defense, power attack is usually going to be better. Whereas up against an enemy like Darth Malak, they're going to have higher defense, so the minus three to hit is going to be more substantial, and you will find that flurry is actually better. Now one thing to consider as well, which doesn't really fit into this calculation, is going to be how much damage you will take. So remember that flurry is going to lower your defense. That really can't be included in this formula because this is only for damage, but that's something else to consider whenever you're picking one over the other is, is the enemy going to hurt you more than you're going to hurt them? Now in our second case, if you are using master speed, you'll end up finding some similar results that against weaker enemies or when your character is weaker, that power attack is still going to be better than flurry and have higher expected damage output. However, if you're going up against tougher enemies, then you'll find that flurry and power attack are pretty much in a dead heat. You'll see that in my trial against Malak, power attack eked out a few extra points of damage, but it could be the case that if I ran another trial, I would see the opposite. So they're gonna be pretty similar at the end of the game if your character is stronger. I'll go ahead and put this in the description, but I've actually created an Excel document with the formula built in so that you can kind of play around with these calculations and see how it works. I did that, for example, with my character up against Darth Malak, and I tested power attack and flurry, and I found pretty much what the formula would suggest. When I wasn't using Master Speed, Flurry was better. It actually saved me three rounds of combat. However, when I used Master Speed, you'll see that they were both in a dead tie, really. Power Attack eked out a couple of extra points, but that could easily change if I just replicated the trial. I would encourage you to go ahead and play around with this document and see what really is the best for you and for your character. I'll also add in the description a program that someone else wrote. I found it on the internet. It's a lot nicer and it's a lot more user-friendly than my Excel document. I can't validate uh, all the calculations that go into it, but it seems to be pretty similar to mine. So I would say it's probably a pretty good resource and a lot easier to use. So feel free to check that out as well. Guys, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a straightforward answer of one is better than the other, but really it's not the case. So hopefully you walk away from this unenlightened person now knowing that really it's circumstantial as to which one is going to be better. I won't lie to you, I was in the same boat whenever I first played this game and the last few times I've played this game. I always went with Flurry because I was of the incorrect opinion that simply because I get one extra attack with Flurry, it must be better. So hopefully you're like me and now that you come away from this knowing a little bit more and it can influence how you're going to play the game. Just again, my classic reminder that this is a role-playing game, so if you're attached to Flurry, Power Attack, or Critical Strike, use whichever one your character should use. It doesn't really matter because regardless, you're probably still going to win the game. Guys, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please feel free to drop a like. It makes me feel good to know that I'm helping you guys, and it also helps people find these videos. If you feel so inclined, also subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notifications for any new videos or live streams, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one, guys.